Hi trombones. We're going to talk about care and maintenance for your instrument. And for this video, you are going to need your trombone. You are going to need some valve oil. Looks like this. It might be in a different type of bottle, but it should be a liquid that's in a bottle. And it says, it might say valve and slide oil. And you're also going to need tuning slide grease. It might be in a tub like this or it might be in a chapstick shape, or it might be in a smaller tub, but it should say something about tuning slide grease on it. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you about is emptying your spit valve. Every time when you finish playing your trombone, you wanna empty the spit out of it because it will, con it will because of condensation, it will kind of um, build up on the inside of the instrument and we don't want it just sitting in there, we want to empty it out when you're done playing. If you ever hear a sound on your trombone like da, 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 as you're blowing, that usually means that you've got a lot of spit filled up in there, so you need to empty it out. The spit valve on the trombone is on the bottom of the slide, right here, and it opens like this. So the way that you empty the spit valve is you need to find a trash can in your house, and you are going to hold it over the trash can, press down the valve, and blow. One or two times should be enough. You're not going to buzz into the mouthpiece. You're just going to open your mouth and blow. So you just hear air, not a note. Now, the tricky part is if your arms are not long enough to reach down at the end there, you might need to ask a family member in your house to help you, have them wash their hands right away when they're done. Um, or you could take a tissue and put the tissue on the ground, then very, very carefully use the side of your foot to push the, the spit valve while you blow the spit onto the tissue, then throw the tissue away if you have a Lysol wipe or something, just to kind of clean the area, it's probably a good idea. And then wash your hands. It's probably always a good idea to wash your hands when you're done playing your instrument, especially right now. Okay, the next thing that you need to know about is oiling your slide. You want to do this about once a week. You're going to unlock the slide, and you are going to push the slide out almost all the way. You will see these two little bumps at the end of your slide, that is right about where you wanna go. Once you get a little further beyond those bumps, the slide will come off. That's about how much room you have. So you wanna go just past those bumps so that pretty much all of the slide is exposed. Then you are gonna take your valve oil, the one that's in the bottle, and I'm gonna come up nice and close so that you can see me. And you're going to put a few drops at the top here, a few drops at the top here, a few drops towards the bottom, a few drops towards the bottom. You notice that I'm not doing this with my um, legs right under here because if the oil drips on your clothes, it will stain. And then I'm just going to let it get spread around and it should make your slide move very smoothly. If you ever feel like your slide is um, just a little bit slow or um, it's making a sound like shh, 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 that usually means it's dry and you need to oil it. So about once a week or as needed. The next thing, the last thing that you need to do to take care of the trombone is to oil the tuning slide. So this is the hand slide down here. Up here, this is the tuning slide. You probably have a circle logo on yours right here. You might not even know, but this slide actually completely comes out. Can be a little tricky to get out. I push it up with my thumb, then I slide it out like that. That's to change the intonation of your instrument. We won't talk about that um, probably this year, but once you get into middle school, you'll talk about that. We need to make sure that that slide can move freely. We don't want it getting stuck in there. So you're gonna take a little bit of your slide grease. If you have the chapstick one, you can just rub it on. And you're going to spread it all around. 
not on this part, but on this part. And then you can put it back in. When you put it back in and you close it, if you've got a big buildup of grease around here, just wipe that off. That means you put on a little too much. Then you can just use um, a tissue or a rag to wipe that off. And don't do that, to wipe that off of your hand. That does not need to be done very often, only um, maybe once every other month. You can just test it out frequently by pushing it up and making sure that it slides out nice and easily. If it feels a little tough to get it out, then go ahead and oil it. If not, just do it like every other month. So we're doing it now in October, do it again in December. So that's the care and maintenance of your trombone. Make sure you're uh, taking good care of this instrument. You want it to last you for a long time.